So Judge before the game was not happy with the Blue Jays broadcast team because they pointed out the peaking and he said he had choice words for them. Now I will also say, because this is good perspective, Michael Kay calls the Yankee games for years. He defended the Blue Jays broadcasters. He was like, they didn't accuse or do anything wrong. And here's the tweet from Brian Hoke, who joined us yesterday. Judge said that he has some, quote, choice words about the Blue Jays broadcasters, insinuating that he was cheating. He declined to share them. Quote, I'm not happy about it, but people can say what they want. I've still got a game to play. I've got things to do. Did they even say the words cheating? No. They did not. They just said, what's he looking at? They said, what's he looking at? That is the job of a broadcaster. You document the game. They show what's on the screen and you talk about it. There are not many things that you should listen to me about, but that is one thing that I do have significant hours of experience in. We tell you what's going on. We are there and we know what is being shown on the screen. That's their job, period. And they didn't accuse him of anything. They pointed out what was going on and said, mm, that's odd. Because it's not like he steps up to the plate and every time he's peeking, that would be a problem too. But it's also not illegal. There was a great story from Ken Rosenthal, which I do think we're going in chronological order with that. Because Ken actually spoke to Jay Jackson, who's a veteran reliever. He was sent back down, partially because he's got a pretty mean tell right now. You can see, <laughs> you can tell what's going on from first base, according to this story. And Jay Jackson spoke to Ken and said that he was giving pitches away. And so that's where the story is. Rosenthal, Blue Jays pitcher, admits he was tipping pitches when facing Aaron Judge. And subscribe for $2. For the athletic. We're I, free. I know. I'm just, just <laughs> gigantic on the screen. I see that. I see that. But that, to me, helped tell the story of last night and also helped dispel a lot of things. One, wasn't cheating, right? That's something no. that's on the field. But two, wasn't... <laughs> looking at his teammates, giving them the side eye that they should shut up because Aaron Boone had recently been tossed. That's not true. No. I'm done no, talking. No, no. Yeah. You guys no, go for the next 15 so minutes. Kratzy, if you sync it up, and they've done this all, if you go on Twitter and Instagram, they have all these things, where as soon as Jay Jackson would go like this, you could see the pitch. And that was right when Judge's eyes went from straight ahead to, where is he looking? I'm looking over here. I mean, it was right when he got to this point where he could see it. So that tells you that either the first base coach or someone in the dugout was doing something to tell him, hey, here comes a slider. And he threw him six sliders in a row. Obviously, he hung one. He hit it 5,000 feet, the last one. But that's not cheating. That's on you for giving away your pitches. That's tipping. And that's what people look for. That's what hitters look for. That's what coaches look for. That's what everybody looks for. So it wasn't cheating. And we never accused him on this. I don't want anyone on this show ever said, he was cheating. We said he was getting something from a tip, and that's fine. That's just you're bad on the Blue Jays for not seeing this on their on their end and noticing it. So what he did was not illegal. What he did was not wrong. Just he got caught, and the Blue Jays, the Blue Jays pitcher, self admitted it, and. It was too late, but good on him for saying it. But now, guess what? Every time that dude takes him out, everyone's going to be like, where's his glove? Yeah, but it might be in their head because if he fixes it in True. the minor leagues, it's actually good. I mean, clearly the word was out internally. Yes. People people knew how to get this guy. So he goes down, and I, and he's been shuffled, you know, shuttled up and down anyway, but now he can go down to the minors and be like, all right, dude, let's let's fix that. So I love that inside access that was provided there for us to understand. Also, props to AJ Kratzy because – Yesterday, right off the jump, he was like, you were not looking at the dugout to your teammates. Because a lot of people did believe that. And I actually, at least initially, was like, okay, judge, honorable guy. That's what he's saying. He's never done it before. Okay. And J AJ was like, no. <laughs> no, no. That you're, you had it spot on. And, I mean, it was a strong strain. Like, I feel like the first base coach is more like there. This was a strong strain. So, I feel like. The dugout is where it was coming from, which brings up another point. Like, is that allowed? I don't – I didn't know because I know I have relayed things in from the dugout before when I played because of stuff like this. Like, you you hear something early on in a pregame meeting, 
in a pre-series meeting, hey, if this person comes in, we can see this from, you know, possibly from the end of the dugout. You can see it. Possibly, you know, and then maybe you relay it in. And I found out last night, something I did not know, is that you cannot relay anything from the dugout to the field, which is news to me. I thought that was allowed as long as it wasn't anything with technology, but I think that's something that came up, I don't know, probably like 2018 when they kind of revisited the whole sign stealing rule changes and stuff like that. So you're saying you actually don't think that every aspect of Ken's story is on point? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, what I read about Ken's story was how, you know, Jay, Jay came, you know, he was coming said, and he said he was doing something or something else. I think, I think there's, I think there's a lot to unpack there. And I think they're also kind of led into what happened with Luis Rojas in at third base yesterday when Pete Walker and I guess Pete was really the one that was, that was yelling at him. And I think Schneids just came over and, you know, escorted him back to their end of the dugout because I think there could be a little like sign, you know, sign relaying from coaches based on where they set up and how they can, you know, how they see, you know, where the guy's hands are set and you can relay it to the front side of the hitter. You know, I, cause it's not all, well, they don't, they don't want you they want you in the, he could care less if they want you in the box. I think it could be something where there is a relay. And I'm I'm very like conspiracy theory about this stuff. I think <laughs> everybody's doing something. I don't know about you, AJ, but I felt like the first time I heard of somebody relaying signs, my mind was like opened up to this whole new world of like, wait a minute. I've definitely been doing that. I definitely moved too soon. I touch my chest protector before every breaking ball. I, and it just like, it makes me skeptical of everybody. Like the Jays are aware of it. So what are the Jays doing? That's my, that's my thing. Like what, how do the Jays relay signs? Uh, I don't know. But my whole thing was the, the hitter before judge was uh, the lefty guy. Um, oh my God. Uh, Bauer. Bauer. And yep. he peaked at the third base coach at the same time. So was someone, either the first base coach or someone in the dugout, giving it to the third base coach, and then he was giving them. And all it takes is third base coach can be standing like this, and he just takes this hand out. He's he's like this, and he goes, nobody would ever notice. And hey, guess what? Here comes a breaking ball, right? Or whatever. Or just un just go like this and put your arms down. Um, you stand with your hands on your hips and it's breaking ball. You just put your hands down. It's Start that walking simple. Away. Yeah. Move. Just walk or anything. It's it, there's a million different things you can do. And, and so that's what makes me a little more skeptical that they were giving them um, not only maybe the first base coach was giving them a third base coach, but it was something quick. And, 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 and I know people are saying what's different between this and the Astros. Well, the difference for me is the Astros were using technology. They were using a camera to get the signs and then go on a, on a trash can. That is like horrible to me. That, that, that's, that's bad. Because that's using something – that's not finding something on your own. That's not looking at a pitcher and saying, oh, he wiggles his glove only on this pitch. And there was a pitcher – listen, there's pitchers I've played against that tipped with their mouth. They'd stick their tongue out on certain pitches, right? They'd go when they were throwing certain pitches. Their finger in their glove. That's why they all, all the pitchers have their finger covered in their glove. Guys would stick their finger up on fastballs and bend it on breaking balls. There's a million different things. We saw uh, – Michael Kopech early in the year with the White Sox, right? He was doing – the way he was setting was giving the Giants pitches. They hit five home runs off of them. That is not cheating. That's just gamesmanship, and that is – but when you go to a techno, technology and you use technology to get an advantage to me, like the Red Sox and Yankees were using the the iPhone, the watch. Apple Watch. The Apple Watch, and they were getting signs sent down. Hey, here's their signs with the runner on second. That's different than a guy being out on second and watching – and going, oh, the catcher's da, 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 da. okay. It's second sign, or it's last sign, or it's set t- sign after two. Or where's the catcher set up, which is really big. Or that. I, I've or spoken location. to plenty of managers that are like set up super late, and you guys are both catchers, right? Hundred percent. If you know if a guy's set up out here or here, it makes a big difference. And, and to what Kratz said about like touching his chest on breaking ball, 
I always tried to set up the same way inside and outside. It was always this <laughs> foot first, then this foot. Because for years, I was scared to death. Like, oh, because we, we would get location off guys sometimes. And so you'd say, okay, how do I do this? i am always got to set up right foot, left foot, or left foot, right foot. So you can't tell if I'm setting up inside or outside. You hop or whatever each guy does differently. But there's so many ways that you can get things not only off the pitcher, but off the catcher. Oh, does he get his butt up higher because it's a breaking ball coming? Or is he lower because it's a fastball? Or I mean, there's a million different things. And that's not cheating. That's just knowing what to look for. But what is cheating is is relaying anything from the dugout. I think technology or not, correct, Kratz? See, and that's that's how I read the rule that yes. I wish I, I wish I had sent sent you guys the rule and you know so you guys could read it yourself. It's one of those like rule fifteen point one point one, and you're <laughs> like this four there and thou cannot do any sign stealing from anybody but the coaches and players on the field and nothing from the dugout or technology. You know it doesn't specifically lay it out, but. It's something that's like that that was new to me because that's why you're sitting on the bench. That is where I spent literally 75% of my career was sitting on the bench and like what can you find? What can you do? A lot of coaches always say this, especially on teams that want to win, do something every single day to help your team win. Even if you're not in a game, what is that one thing? For starters who aren't playing, that one thing might be go sit up in the clubhouse because you're annoying when you're not playing. <laughs> but, you know, and, and and we're really getting into the weeds with this because it is so intricate. Reading catchers and how they move, reading pitchers and how they breathe, how they – when they set their foot down, and all that stuff is happening at these higher-level teams, Blue Jays, Yankees, Rays, Astros, I'm trying to just name all the teams that are playoff contending teams that I played for, Phillies, that I know there's a, somebody that's employed for those teams that 90% of their job is to watch previous video and to find some kind of tip, even if it's just one, one per series. Like Jay Jackson's not coming in for the Blue Jays in super nut cutting time, but He's in there in this game. Hey, you found that? Whatever it is that they found from him, whether it is his timing thing, whether it is back here, they found it. And A.A. Ron Judge hit an absolute nuke off it. And so that guy who found that helped the team win. 